Oh my god. This is unacceptable. To and in there, dude, there was like, I don't know how many shoppers in that store. It was the furthest apartment from the elevator. You're doing more deliveries, sure. Welcome back. It is Sunday, June 12th. And it is currently 5.58 and we got our first order of the night. $20.75, 17 items for three point something miles. Um, it is going to an apartment on the fifth floor and I do know that building and it's kind of tricky to get there. I mean, it's the thing is, there are several buildings and not a lot of parking. But uh, the items are pretty okay. I think she has one pack of Gatorade, ramen noodle, white bread, Gatorade, fruit punch, uh, trying to navigate here. Chicken, chicken noodle soup. Um, I'm gonna get here. Looks like it's a bit crowded in there. Colby sliced cheese, turkey breast, banana, jello, another jello, cheese it, and apple juice.
Okay, took me maybe 25 minutes. I'm on the fifth floor in apartment 527. The only uh, question I have is, is there an elevator? No, I don't want to call her. Go to the front office and type in the code. Okay, will do. Is there an elevator? Because it's pretty heavy. Um, so she wanted two packs of eight bottles of Gatorade and she has two bottle of uh, two bottles of juice should probably put the GPS on and she has um, it's not heavy but it takes some space she has like six boxes of noodles so yeah it, it does fit three bags, but honestly, if there is an elevator, if there is no elevator, I will have to come back, like do it in two trips. You got to learn how to drive, sir. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. I know, right? 
Okay. Perfect. That was my only concern. Haha. <laughs> yes, let's be nice. Let's be nice to the customer. Um, she is not that far away. So yeah, she said there is an elevator. Um, I know where the uh, buildings are. I just hope that there is parking not too far away from the entrance because like I said, it's three bags and it's pretty heavy. But overall, it was, a, it was an easy shop. Um, the store was definitely a bit crowded, but nothing I can't manage. Oh! <gasps> oh my God, he's on the floor. Oh Lord. Yep. He's on the floor. I just saw this dude. Oh my god, is it blood? No, I don't think it's blood. Oh lord. Just go! Instead of filming! hurt I literally just saw this dude in the parking lot literally just saw him and he is the so the motorbike is completely it's busted I think he tried to turn left and somebody like ran into him uh, the girl in front of me was literally filming this dude on the floor like what the actual f are you doing just move move out of the way like how is this even in your head how do you process this information like they're calling 911 the dude is on the floor obviously hurt he is not moving and this bitch only thing to do is to film Ugh. I have no respect for you guys <laughs> What the f Like, excuse me. Literally zero, even below zero respect for somebody who does this. Like, I, I turned the... Ugh. I turned the body cam because I wanted to grab. I didn't have the... I didn't see the accident. I didn't see it. I think it happened literally maybe 10 seconds earlier. But I don't really want to see those things. Like, I'm pretty sensitive. And just seeing this dude on the floor, like, not moving. The, the, the motorbike was busted on the floor. Like, debris everywhere. Everyone is just, like, going around calling 911. I don't want to see this. But you film it? Lady, hell no. Like, nobody gives a shit about your Instagram feed or your TikTok weirdly, or your TikTok shit. Like just move out of the way. Who does this? That's the world we live in. People would rather film your entire accident on the road rather than actually go and help. And this bitch was literally turning and driving on the debris that the, the accident made. Are you f retarded? Like the, the cops are gonna come and they're gonna need all of the information to know who is in charge and whose fault it was. Why do you drive in the middle of the scene? This is unacceptable to me. As a human behavior, this is unacceptable. 
and honestly those <laughs> All of this for whatever views on f TikTok. You guys are so disappointing as human beings. You're so disappointing. Anyway, it was useless for me to stop. They were like, I don't know, 10 people already. They don't need me. They don't need one more. They already called 911. Somebody was already taking care of him. He was on the floor. That's fine. Like, what he needs is medical emergency right now. He doesn't need Lisa to go over him and be like, Are you okay? No, of course he's not. He just got freaking uh, hit by a car. I don't really know what happened because the, he was turning left. I don't know if somebody hit him uh, from behind from the, the site, I have no idea. What I care about is this person getting medical attention right now. I don't care about filming with my phone and posting on Facebook. Humans are garbage. was not an easy delivery in terms of um, it was the farthest apartment from the elevator like the you could not there was no other apartments after that it was very heavy the the two Gatorade plus the three the two bottles of juices plus the soup plus everything else literally and I could not find parking right in front of the building, so I had to park at a another parking. That that's there's nobody because it's Sunday. But I still had to park. I still had to like walk a little. There is a sizzler uh, across the street, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna park there. And dude, parking is absolutely flooded and i have never seen this parking like this i used to come here i used to pick up from here when i used to deliver in my zone which is this is my zone like i mean it's everything is my zone but this is like a, the north part of the zone when i used to deliver when i used to stay in the north part of the zone which is here i used to pick up a lot from sizzler and Parking was always empty, and then now it's open for dining in, I guess. It's just... It's flooded, so I couldn't even park there. And then there was another driver uh, coming to deliver whatever. I think it was a grub hub. I don't know. So we chit-chatted a little bit, and he was like, oh, that's the bird I was like, yeah, it's the grocery shopping. And uh, he was like, I was like, well, this one is $20, so it's not too bad. And he was like, yeah, but how much time did you waste doing the shopping and coming here? I was like, I don't know, 30 minutes? And he was like, yeah, that's too much. And I was like, so what? So I can do three orders, three $10 orders in 30 minutes, which is impossible, by the way. Uh, in LA, it's impossible <laughs> to do 
three ten dollar order in 30 minutes it's impossible basically if all of the orders are below one mile which never happens and it's the the, the food is ready every time you will not make ten dollar you will not make thirty dollar half an hour because it's impossible to complete three orders in a car in LA in my area so in my head I wanted to tell him yeah but how much how many miles do you drive dude I just drove six miles and I made twenty dollars in an hour because I had to walk so at what time did I actually even accept this order yeah not even an hour because i accepted it at 5 58 and i just spent 15 minutes not 15 minutes 10 minutes driving and it's it's not even 7 10 right now so not even an hour and i completed it in maybe 45 minutes so yeah you're doing more deliveries sure but you're driving way many like for example i slashed that's why i was actually checking today i slashed my miles by actually by a good two even three i have instead of filling up I, instead of getting gas every week now i get gas every two weeks so and i make more money than i used to I'm sorry, but now every night I make at least $50, if I can, $100, and for the past two days I have made $90 and plus. So yeah, you're making more deliveries, that's cool, but you're not making more money than me, and you're driving more miles. I mean, if you're doing, if you're, if you're making more money than me, it's for the only reason that you work longer. So, yeah, actually, I would rather do this than run everywhere to complete three hour, three deliveries per hour to not even get $10, to not even get $30, because not, of, not all the orders are $10, like, a lot less of the orders are $10, so, you gotta choose your poison. I am choosing to preserve my car and my... Uh, mental health and I actually like shopping more and more I know the store exactly like my pocket right now except for a very few items so yeah I'm sorry but I would rather be me <laughs> thank you okay second order of the day three point something miles for $17 I think I don't even remember I literally just took the screenshot um, I've been waiting for maybe 15 minutes. Um, it's 11 items. It is an apartment. Half and half. Baby spinach, cilantro, plain yogurt, baby carrots, pita bread, bell peppers, mini bell peppers, sweet ranch, vine ripe tomato, and bakery buns.
signature select salad dressing ranch or wishbone ranch dressing which is this one 15 oh no it's this Shopping is done, took me 15 minutes from accept to finish. Check out, I mean. It was a pretty easy shop. She had produce, but everything was in stock or she had chosen good replacements that actually were in stock. So that's always nice. And literally when I was about to go to checkout, um, 
one cashier was coming back, I guess, from his break. So literally zero weight. And he, he or she, I don't know, Lane? Is that a girl's name or a guy's name? I have no idea. Um, and the light is green. Leave at my door, it is an apartment. And maybe I should have checked before going. But it is what it is. And in there, dude, there was like, I don't know how many shoppers in that store. There was one Instacart shopper. There was me, DoorDash. There was a girl at uh, Corner Shop, which is Uber. And there was... He was going super fast. Uh, like, you know, just just get out of my way. And uh, they, I don't know, they had no idea what the hell they were doing. I know they were shopping for somebody else because he was like, but she wants this, she wants that. And she was like, but it's right here. They had literally no idea what they were doing. And the problem is they were literally like hiking the entire produce aisle where I needed to go. So, at some point I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go because I can't wait for you guys to get your shit together, basically. Um, what the hell is this? Can you see that? The f what are you doing in the middle of the road? Ugh. What the hell? code but the front door like the front gate was actually unlocked so I just had to push the door and I was on my way and his unit was literally the first one on the right so could not miss it could not miss it and uh, done he tipped $5.50 which is pretty good for an order. His order was not even $30, so yeah. Pretty happy with that. Took me 30 minutes from start to finish. $8 for Rite Aid. Yeah, no, I don't think so, buddy. Uh, $17? Uh, not bad, not bad. When I think, when I still think about the dude telling me, well, how much time did you waste? Well, I didn't, I didn't waste my time, that's for sure, because if you can make $17, if you can make more, then good for you. But honestly, I don't think you can. In 30 minutes, I don't think you can, unless you have a very good order. So I just had a champion order that I obviously declined. It was a good order though, $30 for 25 items, that's smart and final, but not the one I went yesterday, another one, and uh, 25 items, 25. I look at the delivery instructions, and the dude is, first of all, in an apartment, and then he says, please make sure all of my food is there before you accept. How the f*** 
fuck do you want me to do this? Do you think I have like a, a teleportation thingy? A teleportation machine? So I can go into the store and check in the 30 seconds that DoorDash gives me to accept an order to check if all of your 25 items are in stock? Like, what the f*** are you talking about? Like, do you think Smart and Final actually does the shopping for you? No! Like, honestly, those customers, they're so ignorant. And then he was like, text me when you are close. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> like, if you're so demanding of shit, why don't you go and do your own shopping? Is that an idea? Like, honestly, please make sure all of my food is there. Yeah, well, for 25 items, all of your food is not gonna be there. Like, I can already tell you that something is gonna be out of stock. <laughs> Common sense seems to have left the building. But anyway, it's been really slow right now. Um, it's 8.47. Since that $17 order, I, I've, I'm having orders coming to my phone, but honestly, it's it's all very bad orders. Um, $6, $4, $11 for a stack order. Um, I just can't do it. I, I can't do this. So I'm going to wait until 9.30. Hopefully, I get something in between. And if I don't, I think I will call it a night. It was a long week. I'm very tired. Uh, you know, between doing DoorDash, the heat, and editing the videos, that, that takes such a long time. I don't think anyone who doesn't do the YouTube and editing the videos can even imagine how long it takes to actually edit a video um, and then exporting it, then putting it on YouTube and do the thumbnails, do the descriptions, do the... You know, it's it's a lot of work, so I'm really, really tired right now and... Uh, I feel like I have